Here we have a uh, pretty interesting trade stimulator, circa mid-1930s, probably 1936-37, uh, made by the Sicking Manufacturing Company uh, out of Cincinnati, Ohio. It is a uh, three-reel bell fruit model. You see the uh, what appear to be the original uh, three uh, reel strips and the original payout card, which is really great. Uh, and you see that they uh, award points for uh, the uh, different combinations of uh, symbols. The uh, gum vendor is intact and working. And as uh, typical uh, trade stimulators go, the machine does not show a denomination. So in fact, you can use a variety of coins. What you do is um, there's a uh, window here on the side where uh, it shows the coin that's played. And uh, then the uh, operator or the... Uh, shop owner would then pay you off according to a multiple of that number of coins that you bet. Uh, let's go ahead and play it. Again, we can, we can put a nickel in the slot. And you see as that, uh, we saw the gum drop there with it. There's our uh, three reels, nothing paying off a lemon to start, but there's our uh, gumball. So again, that makes the machine technically not a, uh, we just get one gumball per shot. Um, not a gambling device because it bends gum. So now we'll play a penny. We'll drop the pin on the side, and uh, again, another gumball drops, and once again we started with a lemon, so not so great. But again, if uh, need be, we could see that there's the uh, the penny on the side window there, and that uh, shows that these are um, somewhat uh, more unusual. Sicking uh, was not a uh, a high volume maker like uh, Gretchen and Davol and some of the other companies. Uh, that were in production at the time. So, and again, they were out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, nice specimen overall. Again, nice to see it with the uh, original reel strips and the award card and with the uh, gum vendor intact. The um, Zephyr trade stimulator from 1936-1937. Uh,